So when I first learnt that this area was going to be logged, I was told by someone that I would need to find a threatened species like the powerful owl and prove it was there. Now I knew they were living here because I was hearing them all the time in my house and I was finding possum tails on my back veranda, which is what the owls do. They feed on possums and rip their heads and their tails off. So I started poking around in the bush looking for them and I learned they roost during the day in beautiful big blackwood trees down in the cool wet gullies of the forest. The first thing I found was a feather which I sent to Melbourne Museum and that was found to be a juvenile owl so I knew they were breeding but I had to find the proof. I eventually got photographs of single owls in the tree I learnt about what they needed as a nest tree, which was a very old tree with a very large hollow because they're the size of a wedge-tailed eagle. I sat under many, many hollow trees that I thought might be suitable for five nights in a row until bingo, I found a female going into the tree and a male nearby. And then it was a lovely process of watching the male feeding the female and then coming back in September and seeing the chicks in the nest. So all of that information was put on the VBAs to prove that that threatened species was there. And as a result of that, it got the adequate protection that was required by law.